Hey guys, this is Rolf. Uh, I don't have all my video podcasting set up yet, but I'll do a, a quick video here on the uh, hardware wallet and, and maintenance on it. So I got a Nano uh, Ledger S here. Awesome hardware wallet. Uh, you can store Bitcoin and Litecoin and Dash and uh, Zcash and Ethereum on it. Uh, it's the only way really to keep your uh, cryptocurrency secure. The thing is, it's not as powerful as a processor as the one on your desktop or on, on one of your uh, VPS cloud servers. So you have to do maintenance on it regularly. So let me show you what I do to mine. Uh, because if you're trying to put take more than transaction inputs, more than 20 transaction inputs, and uh, take them into an output, it takes a little while. I, this happened to me uh, just the other day when I was uh, trying to, to buy some more mining gear. And... Um, it it took about a minute to take uh, a bunch of transactions and, and, and make them into a single one. So I wanted to show you my um, uh, Ledger wallet here and uh, show you what that looks like and what you should do on a regular basis for it. Um, so right now you can see I've got um, – a mining account, and what you might not know about the Ledger wallet is you can do multiple accounts on it. This is great for a couple different things. First of all, I recommend that if you can, take a percentage of the mining that you do every month and put it into savings. So, I don't know, 20, 30, 10, whatever you can, put the money into savings. Because one of the reasons that you're mining Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies is that you expect them to go up over time. And it doesn't do you any good to have them go up over time if you don't have any. So put them in the savings account, and then when it comes time to upgrade your, your gear in a year or two or three, then you have Bitcoin to do the upgrade with, and you'll keep on mining. So the other thing is that periodically, I would say every two to three weeks, you take your uh, transactions that are in your mining. Now, the pool that I use, uh, it sends me one transaction a day, which is great. Um, and uh, that way, you know, I get um, transactions coming in once a day. It's not like it's multiple times per day, but those still add up into to many small transactions. So I'm going to show you how to create a spending account, which is what you want to do when you spend more things. And by transferring money from the mining account to the spending account, it's taking all those little transactions and turning it into one. It's like Say you got a hundred ones in your pocket, and you go to the bank and exchange it for a hundred dollar bills. Bill, that's kind of what this is like. So I'm going to add an account here, and I'm going to call it the spending account because it's the account that I'm going to use to spend money on. And I'm going to set a different color on it here, or maybe I'll just add it. Okay, so now I've got a mining account and a savings account and a spending account. So yeah, I did just spend most of my money that's in this account recently, but let's go ahead and find out what the receiving uh, address is here. And we'll copy this. And then we'll go back to the mining account. And then we'll send money over to the spending, to the, uh, spending account. So I'm going to paste that address here. And how much do I have? Not very much. So 0.14. And that'll take it down to just about nothing. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit send. Now it's preparing the transaction and verifying it. And I don't have a lot of transaction inputs. Um, and now here it's asking me on my Ledger wallet to confirm the transaction. So I'm going to confirm it. And then it'll go back and it'll send. So there we go. And uh, you can see that. So now I go back to my account. So you can see I've got money in my mining account and money in my savings account and money in my spending account. This is what I recommend that you do. Whether you've got a Nano Ledger S or a Trezor or a Keep Key, um, I got some Keep Keys here that just showed up. I'm going to uh, do a video on how to use that. But this is what I recommend that you do for regular maintenance on your hardware wallet. People that don't do mining, they don't have a lot of small transactions that come into their hardware wallet, but miners do. Or at least that's the ideal thing. You, you, sh you should have them. Um, okay, that's it for today.